you're thinking like that, does it inform how you look at just everything? Like, say, for example, you're watching, like, the Hulk in a movie, right? Mm -hmm. And you're a nurse. You understand the body and how it all works and everything. And you see this guy turn into this big green monster. You know, I think to, my, I think to myself when I'm seeing the Hulk, he... Where does he get the muscle from? He has no... He, he turn. He has. He's Bruce Banner. You know, right. Bruce Banner doesn't seem like he has a lot of protein in him. No. Just thinking where about does the like, come from? like where you know because it, 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 because you know where's the mass yeah. you know because I'm not a physics guy. It's like doesn't mass cannot be created nor destroyed. Uh-huh. I'm like, where the hell does he get this man? Like, you know, he might have a fast metabolism, but you know. He has all that muscle, and he's growing that fast. Yeah. How does he do it? How would ca- it have to be stored somewhere? All the muscle? No, it's muscle. Because uh, I'm can be like wasted. Someone who's like really fat, and then he turns into Hulk, and then his fat turns into muscle. Well, no, no, no. The fat, fat has fat. Right. Muscle has protein. Right. Like you need protein in order to create muscle. Mm-hmm. When you break, you know. You know, when you're doing dumbbells or anything like that, or working your legs, you're breaking down. You're breaking down your muscle, but your body, when you have sufficient protein, at least, uh, your muscle repairs itself. You get that lactic acid because of you know, there's so much harm going on there. Yeah. Then you drink water, and then you take protein, and then it heals and gets stronger as it goes. Mm-hmm. For the Hulk, <laughs> he's going from human size to like. I don't know how how tall is the Hulk. He's a. I mean, I think they went with like nine feet. Nine, they, nine, a nine bigger. foot dude <laughs> weighing freaking over a thousand pounds. Yeah, of muscle. Of muscle. Yeah. And how can he? St- he either has a place in his body that stores a lot of protein, maybe, but <laughs> in general knowledge, if someone got that big that fast. With that much muscle, <laughs> it would be I... not distributed. No. He would. Di- they would not be able to do that. What would he look like? Would he just look like a? I think he would big, die. <laughs> just a bit. Would he explode? Maybe. I mean, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because unless... the, the thing about the Hulk is that you you say you need the protein to be stored to create that muscle, right? Yeah. So, yeah. But, so he grows, right? Yeah. Then he he shrinks back down. Would he have to get more protein? He would need a lot of protein, yeah. if anything. Think about it. You know, again, protein, muscle, and everything like yeah. that. Well, it's it's tough. Yeah. It's tough on the body. Think about how much pain you would be, and how many yeah. muscle fibers you're going to be destroying just by increasing the muscle mass that much. Yeah. That's too scary, man. Yeah. I I would not want to be the Hulk, man. I'd be scared for my muscles like if I'm like this this tall and this heavy and everything like with a bunch of muscles, I'd be scared going back into mm-hmm. that state and then I'm dead. You know, yeah. I can't move a bo- uh, muscle, my whole other muscles like you know, not just the skeletal muscles, but the vascular muscles too. They probably have to grow in size too. Mm-hmm. And then they going back. Oh my God. What about uh, Captain America where he goes through the change just one time? I do not know. Again, you need a lot of protein for that mm-hmm. too. Well, he was like a skinny guy beforehand. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, you need, a, again, it's repetitive motions of like working out, Yeah. you know, um, working out your muscles that makes you grow and grow yeah and if you you there needs to be a source there there has to be a source or else you're not going to be making any muscle Uh uh-huh so like for steve rogers i'm thinking like (laughs) science science you know (laughs) unless you give him like because and i don't think that would be plausible like you know again like give him um giving him like a proteins in the veins or something mm-hmm. like that which is not you know giving proteins to your veins that's that's fucked up yeah um unless he got that then he wouldn't be able to do it you know he would his body would break yeah his body you know you know he wouldn't have he, it would be insufficient for him and he would 
die probably yeah probably right yeah i don't know yeah, yeah. Does, again doesn't have enough protein to make the muscle mm-hmm. he has to <laughs> he can't do it no he literally he, can't do it without protein you know i'm thinking about the hulk right and how big he is and everything and like historically really tall people live shorter lives and everything why, why is that i've always wondered why that is i think it's because it's uh Just the amount of energy it takes for them to it operate? takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot more power to uh-huh. pump the heart and to everywhere else right they have a they're tall they have a lot of they they like have a lot of blood per se or is, has, is that that's I, happened a nine foot man i don't know what the guinness word record is here i'll look it up while you tell the people about the nine feet people um it takes a lot it takes a lot more again yeah it's, you're, you're right it takes a lot more energy it takes mm-hmm. a lot more pressure from the heart to pump that blood to the legs and to the arms um and you know it's tough on their body and sometimes you know they can't do it you know it's just they can't you know their heart gives out a little faster maybe maybe if they work out a little bit long you know if they work out and stay healthy right yeah they can do it um and stay longer and and that's what we always hope um, but if they're not taking care of themselves, yeah, their their body's gonna give out on them a I, lot faster. Well, I just looked up who the tallest man in history yeah was. Well, who, who, it was uh, Robert Wal- uh, Wadlow. Wadlow. Robert Pershing Wadlow, who was born in February twenty uh, February twenty second, nineteen eighteen, and died in nineteen forty on July fifteenth. Yeah, 15th. That's like he was like in his thirties. Yeah, he's known as the Alton Giant and the Giant of Illinois. He was the tallest person recorded at eight feet and eleven point one inches. Oh, eight feet eleven. Oh, he was close to nine, man. Yeah, he was almost tall as the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> he was almost as big as the Hulk. Like, here, let me show you this picture of this man. He's, he is. I think big. I saw him at the, uh, I, like a, I think I seen that. It was like, and his foot size is like double that of a of a man's. Yeah, no, it's insane how tall this guy is. I mean, he has a big shoes, man. Yeah god well i know they're like I've, I've seen like some pictures of some asian dudes who are really tall and everything was like yao ming you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know yao ming the yeah. basketball player the basketball that player. dude is tall and uh isn't he taller than shaq he might yeah yeah he is he makes He's taller shaq, than shaq he makes shaq look like a regular sized person oh, i've man. seen those pictures where they're like together and everything shaq is standing next. shaq looks like a, a, a child it looks like kevin hart you know what i mean like it's crazy oh my god yeah